This year we've been offering classes in Sloyd or Swedish handcrafts to adults and students here at American Swedish Institute. This is part of ASI's mission, to serve as a gathering place for people to share their stories and experiences related to tradition, immigration, handcrafts, and the arts, especially as they are tied to Sweden. The idea of making beautiful and useful objects from natural materials is prevalent in many different cultures, including in Sweden. Take a look at how we're introducing these crafts right here in Minnesota. My name is Fred Livesay, and I'm an instructor for the uh, Christmas tree hook class uh, for the Swedish Institute. The significance of this is, is to try and teach the kids to do something with their hands. And in Sweden, that that's more often uh, taught than it is here. We brought in all the Christmas tree parts, the whorls of branches, and they were green. And then we had the kids take sloyd knives, which are typically used to carve, and they're short blades and very sharp. And they cut all the little branches off of them. Then they peeled the bark off uh, with a knife and then using their hands as well. And then they sat once they were peeled for a week and dried. When they came back this week, they were trimmed so that they didn't have any sharp edges. So when you hang things on them, they're usable. And then we drilled holes in them. And then they put a cord through it and hang it. And it's for hanging coats or uh, if you leave these long, you can hang plastic bags on them and let them dry out. If you wash your re or reuse your plastic bags. It's just a way to recycle your Christmas tree. And that's what they did in two weeks or four hours. And they, they really enjoyed it. This was a nice range of kids to be here. They went from eight to, uh, I think, 13. And I really enjoyed it. I've never worked with them. They're very honest. They ask for help when they need it. And they learn actually quite quickly. I was amazed at how focused they were. And there was just a couple of times when they needed to be, you know, kind of pulled back when I was demonstrating something. But that's typical in the same way. I've taught for a long time, mostly with adults. So with kids, I think they did a really great job. And I think it's really valuable. This is hopefully a way to get them to go outside and use their hands in something other than buttons and things like that. So, that, and that's important. Get them to see what's around them and what's in front of them more than they do. And they seem to like it. <laughs>